Hello, everybody. Today, we're reacting to Edward and the Awkward Engine. Then, Monday, we are doing Fireman Sam and a Thomas and Friends video my friend made. So, let's get going. We're doing the... Oh, yeah. We're doing Fireman Sam on Saturday. Calvin's... My friend Calvin's video on Monday. So, let's get started. Oh, I do not own Thomas and Friends. Mattel owns everything. The harbor at the end of Edward's branch line was busier ba, 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 than ba, 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 Goods and passengers were arriving night and day. Ba, 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 ba. No sooner had one ba, ship departed ba, ba, than two more ba, came ba, in. Ba, ba. Donald and Douglas were away on Duck's branch line. <laughs> so Edward and Bobo were left to keep up with the increasing work. Ben was sent to assist with the trucks. The battle came to a head one day when Boko broke down just outside Edward's station. Don't you dare! The fat controller Don't then decided to take matters into his own hands. Don't you dare, Captain. One afternoon, Edward I'm arrived to back at the here, harbor God. to an unexpected sight. Bill and Ben were talking to another engine, but it wasn't an engine Edward had seen before. It had traits of a regular steam engine, such as a funnel and a tender, but it was rather boxy in shape, almost like a diesel. Yeah. The engine was backing up towards some old oil tankers. Nearly there, said Bill, cheekily. Nearly there, okay, repeated stop, Ben. Stop. But the engine was reversing too quickly and gave attackers a great oh, no! shove. They groaned and squeaked as they rolled a line. Isn't he a clumsy one? chuckled Ben. Quite <laughs> awkward looking too, replied Bill. Don't bite the my engine hand. went red in the face with embarrassment. Maybe Edward can help him. That's enough, cut in Edward. You should know better than to play your silly games on newcomers. Now run along and fetch your tracks. I like Edward. He's the troll villain then. Did bad. so anyway. Edward sighed. I apologize on behalf of those two. They like to cause all sorts of trouble. Who might you be? Hey, Cooper, I, I'm just petting you. I never I've been sent here to help with the goods. So you're the new hey. engine. Splendid. No. No. Welcome to Sodor, Neville. No biting. I'll be more than happy to show you no around. Biting. Neville cracked a smile. He was Don't beginning to feel reassured him. by Edward's welcoming attitude. Okay, we're done. We're done. Later, Neville was waiting patiently for Bill and Ben to bring him some trucks of fresh fruit to the market. But Bill and Ben were nowhere to be seen. Oh no, why does that scare me? Suddenly, Neville felt oh, a no! rock behind. Bill and Ben snickered. Got gotcha! ya! They said in unison. Oh, 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 that never gets old, Bill chuckled. <sighs> He's still just as trickable, teased Ben. And awkward looking. I don't hey. think Boko would be too pleased when an imposter diesel taking over for him. Finished Bill. Neville sighed. Not again, he moaned. But once the guard blew his whistle, he went on his way. Sorry, dogs eat me dogs. <laughs> Quiet, trooper. That night, he puffed sadly to Edward's station, Quiet. where Edward was resting in his shed. Quiet. Hello, Neville, greeted Edward. You look down. What's the matter? Those two tank engines played another trick on me, Neville no. said quietly, and they kept calling me him. awkward. I thought I told those two to keep the tricks to themselves, grumbled Edward. It always keeps reminding me of how I was treated back home. What? Before I came here, I worked as a goods engine on the other railway. Okay, what happened? I was told I was one of the most powerful at the time. 
It would have pulled enormous trains as far as the eye could see. Well, that's good. But while I was strong, I wasn't so pleasing to look at. You see, I was built like this as a way for us to be cleaned without the need of the crews doing it themselves. Some of the bigger engines always used to call me Square, Breadloaf, Ugly Duckling, and all sorts of horrid nicknames. Mm. How awful! It's terrible! That word. It was... Neville Finch put a small crack in his voice. Well, if there's one thing I can assure you, smiled Edward, it's that most of us Sodo engines don't care about looks. What's on the inside is just as important as what's on the outside. Then, Edward had an idea. Uh -oh. Tell you what, there's supposed to be an order of steel arriving tomorrow. I'll let you take the train while I handle my passengers. Maybe you can show Bill and Ben a thing or two. Neville was intrigued by the idea and agreed. Why do I have a feeling this is gonna go wrong? Next morning, Bill and Ben peeked into the yard. They found Neville backing down towards the long, long line of trucks with steel girders. Hey, look! They tease. It's awkward old Neville. Trying to be well strung as engine, are we? Neville tried to pay no mind. Deep down, he was getting a bit nervous. But then he remembered what Edward had said and slowly began to build up confidence. Good. The shunter released the brakes on the trucks and the guard blew the whistle once boarding his brake van. Puffing hard and making lots of steam, Neville began a whole little heavy train out of the yards. Oh, look at the sound faces. was deafening. Workmen waved and cheered. Just coming down from the branch with his passengers, and I was caught by surprise. He's like... Once Edward saw the twins, he could only smile. Seems awkward, Neville, is more than what you think, he winked at them. Take my advice. That's my friend too. Stephanie. Don't worry. Don't judge a book by its cover. You don't never judge know how good cover. that book may be. I, I don't know. I don't know why. I just said that. Don't judge a book by its cover. I can't remember. I remember the song. Bill and Ben were respectfully silent. <laughs> never awesome. arrived back at Edward Station, where the other engines were waiting. The fat controller stepped down from Edward's cab. Edward has told me about your performance today. A fine job from you indeed. <laughs> Thank you, sir, blushed Neville. He hadn't quite expected the praise. But, he went on, oh. it seems that there's lots of big players of teasing as of recent. So I think these two will like to kiss you an apology. Well, really sorry for playing all those tricks on you, Neville said Bill. You did great back there, put in Ben. We didn't know you could be so powerful. That's quite all right. I'm sorry if my noise gave you such a fright, he joked. Edward laughed, and even the twins let out a small chuckle. A few days later, Boko came back from being mended. Yay! Edward and the twins were very happy to see him again, and they properly introduced him to Neville. Edward and Neville are now close friends, and Neville is proud to be part of a new family. Needless to say, he doesn't feel quite so awkward anymore. That was a great story, guys. Well, I gotta get going. I gotta shovel the walk. This is Gay Bear 101 signing out. Adios, everybody.